Hi, I'm Karen. Hi, I'm Natasha. And today we're going to talk about the proper, proper care, care and maintenance, maintenance of, of your, your husband. husband. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there there is proper care and maintenance that's needed. Yes, there you is. You know, first of all, you want to cook properly for your oh, man. Oh, you have to cook properly. And even if you don't know how to cook, that's no excuse. I say if you don't know how to cook, you order that stuff, but that's you still right. put it on like nice china, oh, please. nice dishes. Set the table. Handle it, handle oh, yes. it. You may not want to hear this, but... It's too, what did you say? The cooking is too, the window to his soul, what you say? window to his soul. It's, it's like <laughs> his stomach is like the window to his soul. Yes, mm -hmm. yes it is. So that is something you really need to do. You really need to, because men appreciate that. And, and it doesn't matter, like I said. And she said, if, if you don't know how to cook, there's no excuse. There's no excuse. Just lay the table out, and I hope you know how to make a table. Yeah, sometimes yes. I just think about it. Like, if nice I'm home. Nice placemat. Totally. Silverware. Silverware. There you go. Flowers. Put out there flowers, you know. Even though they might be for you a little Play bit. Play a little but it's soft okay. music. <laughs> and bring, have him sit down. Serve oh, my gosh. You, the key is serve Yes, your you man. have to serve him. And you have to. Just look good, ladies. If you know he's coming home and you've been at home all day and you in your sweatpants, hair looking crazy. Get in the shower. Get in the shower. Put on some makeup. Do a little bit of lip gloss. That's it. Just a little lip gloss, mascara, whatever your fancy is. And then just put on something sexy. Yeah. And then just serve your man. Just pump up the volume. I'm telling you, pump he'll come home every night because he'll be waiting. <laughs> Send him off to work. Make his lunch. Yes. See, honey, you, if you don't have a lunch today with those executives or whatever his line of work is, I'll make you lunch. Make him a little I'll lunch. I'll make you lunch. There's nothing sexier than that. Another also, thing. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm, so so much I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Another thing is really, he is out there facing the world. I mean, the world is just like beating him down. So when he comes home, tr don't start complaining. Don't start talking. Don't just show up in his face. You Big know, no, just, no. No, just take a step back. Ask him how his day was, if he wants to talk about give it. Give him a minimum him of a a one hour. Give Let him just unwind. Yeah, give him brother a minute. Just a, and I bet just you it won't take an hour because you'll be looking so good and smelling fabulous. Yes, and you're going to love the fact that he actually came to you and you're not chasing him around the house like... <laughs> That's it. How was your day? And he'll be more receptive of anything you have to tell him because yes. you gave him that time to unwind. Yes, he will. So serve him that meal. Give him a little foot massage. Oh, the foot massage. You know, more yes. and more men, they love that nowadays. They really do. Yes, they do. It's and not a girly thing. No, it's not. And it's okay for a brother to take a bath. Oh. It is okay. Absolutely. Wash and put some bubbles worries. in there, light a candle, and <laughs> get in the tub with your man. Yes. You hear me? Yes. You know, it doesn't have to be so good. Mm -mm. Mm. Also, keeping a nice home. I, I no, I might be Very sounding important. a little old fashioned right here, Very but important. it'll it'll keep your sanity on point as well. But keeping a nice home. It's How just many times nice. has your husband said, "Honey, where is blah blah yes. blah?" Yes, right. Yes, and if you keep a nice home, you yep. can help him find exactly. It and it my philosophy is, if keeping a nice home is picking up the phone and dialing that person to come clean it, then so be it. He but a brother come home know. and the house is clean. That's I'm just right. saying. That's it. If that's not your thing, but men thrive on something that is nicely maintained yeah yes and during a time when he's really relaxed and i do this with my husband mm -hmm. i'll just ask him uh baby is there anything that's a pet peeve like what am i doing to get on your nerves because i know i might be doing something and like for instance he was like oh you leave your hair products all over the kitchen i mean all over the bathroom counter and so in my mind when i'm done i just put it under the sink not a big deal but it keeps you from chiseling away chiseling away. because the toilet seat up is not a big deal ladies okay get over it we're <laughs> tired of hearing that oh, one I'm all sorry. the time i don't know you know what toilet flip seat. it down if it, listen you have to pick your battles <laughs> you pick your that's battles that's all i'm saying because in my house pick the your toilet battles. seat's closed that's right just same with the toothpaste thing if you're squeezing it from the wrong way or the the, the top is off i mean come on fight about something that's yeah. more important you do need you know? to pick your battles though yeah that I is mean, very important that's something you have to weigh out yeah. yeah and the question is some people go oh if he's messy and leaves the you know the toilet seat up or socks on the ground they're just like gonna write him off but what's really important that's not a deal breaker does he ladies. treat you with respect does he treat you like a queen that's is what's he important. gentle with you does he love you that's does right. he take care of you that's does what he you take want. care of the house so if a brother that's leaves his drawers important. in the bathroom 
in the I'm hamper, just, just pick them up. I mean, really, is it all that? Is it worth all that? <laughs> no, 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 no. And you know what? One thing that I love to do is have husband day. Designate oh, a, a day one? out of the month. That's a good one. That I need to take a day. note. Why wait for Father's Day? Why wait for a calendar <laughs> day of the year, a special holiday? One day out of the month is husband day. One day out of the month is wife day. And that's the day you make his favorite meal that you pamper your man and show him that you are a devoted loving wife see even i can learn something hmm. I knew <laughs> i'm you just did. saying that's a that, good girlfriend. one <laughs> thank you but i knew you knew that one <laughs> Yes, husband day. So think about that. And it could be something is like letting him uh, go to a, a game or get yes, tickets. Yes, without complaining. It doesn't have to be right. Let him go oh, hang with the Go homies. with the boys, go whatever. With the boys. But whatever it is, it's something that will make him happy because the day is about him, not you, ladies. Yeah, husband day can't be to the spa. No, no. That's <laughs> if he not doesn't, for him. Only if he, if now, he doesn't want to go. What my husband doesn't know is that I'm going to book us a trip to a spa where Ooh, couples go. Oh, that's yes, a good one. Where we can get massages at the same time. I like that. Yes, go hiking, biking, Ooh, biking. And do all of that stuff because you know we love yeah. the outdoors, and so that's something great too. But this is proper maintenance of your guy. Always yes. pick up those shirts if you yes. take them to the dry cleaners. Pick up those shirts and mm -hmm. suits. You know anything you do for him, hand it to him. Do it with a yes. smile. And do it not with, with love. a frown, not a complaint. Yes, don't complain. And I always say surprise him with something, something that you don't normally do mm -hmm. unexpectedly do it and it can be random and i know i'm gonna put this out there but in my house my husband takes the trash out all the time not that i'm saying he has to take the trash out but he takes the trash out but some days i just happen to take it out that's it he doesn't have to take it out mm -hmm. i believe there's a proper place of doing things but sometimes you just surprise your husband i think that'll just keep things a little spicy and i also have a red wig so <laughs> <laughs> Hey, and listen, your husband may surprise you in return. A lot of times my husband will surprise me by washing some oh, dishes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. So that's no set gender rules. Yeah. But what we're saying is if you do these little extra things, you will be pleasantly surprised what your husband will give you back in you return. Will. Girlfriend, just listen you to us. You will. Okay? Yes. It's all about happiness. Listen to us. Keep the peace in the home. <laughs> Proper care and maintenance of your husband. Husband. Get one now. <laughs> Get one. Hurry up. Bye. Bye.